Fans call it a slider. It's America's original fast food burger made famous by America's first fast food restaurant, White Castle. The White Castle tastes so good. I need my White Castle. <laughs> In fact, White Castle was also the first to sell over a million of these bite-sized burgers. Can't go nowhere else and get that taste. So that's what makes us special. This simple square sandwich has reigned for nearly a century. We've often thought that good things come in small packages. It all started in 1921 in Wichita, Kansas, when short order cook Walt Anderson came up with the idea to grill a burger with fresh onions. His partner, Billy Ingram, loved it and thought the American public would too. So they teamed up to sell them. But back in the 20s, burgers were thought of as fair food. So Billy set out to change that image. He wanted to really convey that it was something that you could feed your family. The name White Castle was meant to signify cleanliness and purity and permanence and strength. And actually, our original building was modeled after the, the water tower building, which is in Chicago. White Castle was born, and they sold their burgers for just five cents a piece. Today, they sell more than 600 million sliders every year. The reason so many succumb to the White Castle crave? Their unique recipe has never changed. It's 100% beef, always has been, always will be. Steam grilled on a bed of onions, and that onion flavor just permeates every bite, makes it very distinctive, very flavorful. Join us for an amazing adventure as we take a trip to Hamburger Paradise. Hamburgers were considered fair food, and fair food was stuff that you would only get at the county fair, not something you'd necessarily want to have as a staple in your diet. But short order cook Walter Anderson and his enterprising friend Billy Ingram took the burger to a whole new level with White Castle, the little burgers that started a humongous industry. From the very beginning, uh, we wanted to establish a quality reputation. Then Billy thought, what if we called the chain White Castle? White to represent cleanliness and castle for permanence and strength. So it was always 100% beef, always prepared fresh right in the restaurant. And actually, in the very beginning, our hamburgers were five cents a piece. And so uh, that even led to people being able to buy them by the sack and share them with family and friends. And that's kind of how the legend began. White Castle is not just another place to get a number two with a Coke. It's the restaurant that jump-started America's burger boom as the very first fast food hamburger chain. When you visit any one of their locations, you're stepping into a part of history. White Castle's humble beginning started in Wichita, Kansas, where the first restaurant was built. The tiny eatery was modeled after the water tower building in Chicago with its turrets and fortress-like walls. Today, there are more than 400 restaurants around the country with sales of over 550 million hamburgers a year. In addition to introducing the fast food hamburger, White Castle was the first to sell their burgers in grocery stores, the first to appear in vending machines, and the first to sell a billion burgers. 
They also created the industrial strength spatula and were the first to mass produce the paper hat. Join us for an amazing adventure as we take a trip to Hamburger Paradise. What you crave has even become the White Castle slogan. And the passionate following for these burgers has inspired a Cravers Hall of Fame. One of our more memorable Cravers, we have to say hats off to Michelle Purcell. Not only did she get a White Castle tattoo on her ankle, she also redecorated her entire home and her kitchen with a White Castle motif. She even stole a garbage can from us, but that's okay. We forgive her. Cravers have even made their way onto the big screen. In the 2004 comedy, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle, the story of a late night journey to satisfy a desperate burger urge. White Castle has been going strong for nearly nine decades. And in that time, it's become more than just a fast food place for customers who eat there. In 1950, White Castle restaurants began freezing hamburgers for customers to serve later. But they couldn't keep up with demand. They were doing everything imaginable to get the product closer to home, including paying relatives to bring it out for them. Truckers who were making other runs would load some into the back of their trucks to take it from coast to coast. In 1986, White Castle launched their frozen foods division. To get that same restaurant taste, the factory duplicates what the restaurant does only on a massive level. And it starts with their signature ingredient, onions. And we start out with dry onions and we rehydrate them in this tumbler and we use over 800,000 pounds a year. Once they're plumped up, they're grilled up. The key to the White Castle burger, is a steam grilled onion. They're spread evenly across the grill plate. They go under misters where the uh, steam grill effect takes place. And after that point, they get meat put on top of the bed of onion.
In fact, they use 10 million pounds of beef every year to make their burgers. The beef comes in square logs with five holes to help steam grill the burger. Then they're sliced into thin sandwich patties. And this year, we're looking at producing over 180 million sandwiches. If you lined them end to end,